Kingsman The Secret Service is an action movie on the surface, but there's some comedic moments in the first movie and the laughing moments remind you not to take the film too serious. With the sequel, there's action and jokes too, but even with that, the movie just comes off as a social justice warrior just say no to drugs advertisement. You agree to end the war on drugs once and for all. All classes of substance are legalized. Both movies introduce the villain's half man, half metal henchman. The biggest difference is Gazelle is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about a movie character. And Charlie is a wuss. They establish him as a snitch in the first movie, so it's hard to believe he's all of the sudden a bad A word in the sequel. It's not just the villain's henchmen that get a downgrade in part two. Merlin was a great guy in the chair in the first movie. He was funny, smart, and had a backup plan for any problem they faced in the field. In this movie, he's faced with adversity and his bright idea is to kill himself. In Kingsman The Secret Service, every character has a purpose. Eggsy has a best friend of the opposite sex, a mentor on the job, and a guy in the chair. In this movie, there's two characters to one purpose so it's easy to predict who's going to die. She dies because Eggsy already has a best friend of the opposite sex. He dies because Eggsy already has a mentor on the job to show him the ropes. And he dies because Holly Berry is the guy in the chair now. Eggsy is just as lethal behind the wheel than he is behind the trigger. He goes for a joyride in Kingsman 1 and 2, but the difference is the police catch him in part 1, and he slips away in the sequel. Along with his excellent driving record, Eggsy is able to hold his breath for long periods of time without drowning. In Kingsman The Secret Service, he holds his breath for a super long time, which is total crap. In Kingsman The Golden Circle, he actually holds his breath in crap, so that's total crap too, but in a literal sense. The woman Eggsy loves in Kingsman The Secret Service is his mother. She's in an abusive relationship and she won't get out of it because her judgment is impaired since she's on drugs. The woman Eggsy loves in Kingsman The Golden Circle is his girlfriend. She's in a healthy relationship and tries to get out of it because her judgment is impaired since she's on drugs. As for the person Eggsy hates, it's clearly the villain. The villains are self-made billionaires, but are really down to earth. They both enjoy eating fast food, although Valentine prefers delivery, and Poppy likes the homemade kind. Out of the two bad guys, I'll say Valentine is the smartest. He made his billions the legal way by starting a tech company. And Poppy's an idiot because she can't file her taxes since she made her money by dealing drugs. And she's extra dumb for taking her profits and investing in the restaurant business, which has over a 70% failure rate. And on top of that, she launches her restaurant chain in the middle of nowhere too far out to schedule deliveries. In the first film, they have the real president as a character. In the second movie, it's a fictional president. It would have worked out better if they would have just showed the back of his head and cut most of his scene and focused on something else. The villain's plan is to, in their mind, save the world. They plan on killing more than a third of the world's population for what they believe is for the greater good. In these types of movies, the bad guys always get caught, but Valentine has the best opportunity to succeed because he negotiates with the president so he doesn't have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the US military. Poppy terrorizes the president, which is a bad idea since America doesn't negotiate with terrorists. If she would have just called him, they might have been able to work something out since the president likes her evil plan. The only thing that stands in the way of the evil bad guy is the Kingsman organization. Whoops, never mind. Poppy blew up every living member of the Kingsman minus two, so there's barely any heroes, and all of that world building they did in part one was in vain. The weapons in the first Kingsman blend well with everyday scenarios, so you could always catch an enemy off guard. The weapons in the second Kingsman jump the shark. You can't get a baseball bat past security because it's obviously a weapon, and the baseball element is just trying too hard. The best part about Kingsman was even though they set up the agents to be these almost superhuman killing machines, you got the feeling they were still vulnerable and could die at any moment, just like a regular human being. In the sequel, they jacked up the storyline and no one could die, even with the headshot. Which makes no sense because the agent's skill level in Kingsman The Secret Service is way more polished. During the bar fight, Harry could knock out his adversaries with a single blow. In the golden circle, he gets his buttocks handed to him and has to let the statesman do his dirty work. Harry's the one with memory loss, but for some reason it seems like the writers are the one that suffer from memory loss. Eggsy's character has a natural instinct and can read people's character. Eggsy never trusted Charlie and Charlie turned out to be a snitch. He never trusted Arthur and Arthur turns out to be a sellout. All of the sudden in the sequel, Eggsy trusts everyone, even when it's obvious they're a double agent. The writers give all the natural qualities that make Eggsy who he is to Harry. Along with their memory loss, the writers for Kingsman The Golden Circle are lazy as hell. You could tell they wrote the script for The Golden Circle in 2014 and used the same script in 2017 because they didn't want to do any rewrites. In Kingsman, the villain's master plan is about fixing global warming, which was a huge current event topic in 2014, so I get it. 
In the sequel, the villain's master plan is a war on illegal drugs. Problem is, cannabis was illegal in 2014 when the script was written, but as of November 2016, weed has been legalized in eight states and counting, so they were better off writing about something else. Either the script is outdated or it's just a bad idea. The marketing on the movie wasn't any better. Everyone you see on the poster in Kingsman, you get in Kingsman. Most of the people you see in Kingsman 2, you'll get in Kingsman 3. Hopefully, because Channing Tatum looked like he was going to be featured heavily, but Elton John, who's a cameo in the movie, had more screen time than he did. One more thing about the villain that I couldn't stand was the tick wasn't consistent. Valentine had a tick that was annoying, but it was consistent. He talked with a lisp, and although he was evil, he was overly sensitive and hated seeing blood or gore, which is why he hired people to do his dirty work or threw up when he had to do it. Poppy's tick is she's dependent on technology instead of man, yet she trusts men to do her most important assignments. Also, she's overly obsessed with the 50s, yet she chooses the 70s version of Elton John as her prisoner, when someone with her tick would clearly prefer someone from the 50s. Kingsman highlight was the church scene, and it's one of those moments that's lightning in a bottle, so you can't recreate it. They do try to recreate the other action sequences. The scene in the Secret Service where Eggsy fights all the soldiers one-on-one -on -one with an umbrella, they try to do the exact same scene in Golden Circle, but give him an umbrella and a suitcase. This time, it doesn't work. They try to redo the final fight scene where Eggsy defeated Gazelle. Eggsy actually got whooped in the first movie, which makes the fight more epic that he actually won in the end. In Golden Circle, if you're fighting one-handed, it's too easy. If it's too easy, no one cares. Both villains get shot with a needle. Valentine's fatality is epic. Poppy's fatality is so comical, even she laughs at how much of a bad idea it was. When Eggsy rescues the princess, she gives him some booty in this movie. In this movie, he puts a ring on it. Although it's the Christian thing to do, these two have no chemistry, and all it means is we get to look forward to more of this dry romance in the third film. And those are 24 reasons these movies are different, so truth or dare, like and share, leave a comment under there. If you don't, that's not fair. This thing took a week to prepare. But I'm not a rapper though. <gasps> Elevator music I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs>